This is India and I'm John Haggins of Globetrotter. This is a marvelous experience here in Jamgaro and this is where everyone comes for bird watching. And we're here for the bird watching conference and everyone has come from around the world and we are going back into nature so we can see the wonderful birds, the colors, and you know the people here are so friendly. I just love it here in India. Welcome to India. Wow, the busy streets of Jamuna. The traffic is unbelievable, and you can find the sacred cow everywhere. This old gate divides the new city from the old city. Now this is what I call India. <laughs> what fun! <laughs> you know, most of my friends think that I can't drive. I'm here in Jamuna on a Chakala and this is the most colorful vehicle I've ever seen. And you know, we can haul milk or it's a clown car. We can haul 50 people on the back. It's fun! This is an incredible adventure through the city and I just love it because you know the people here are so friendly and there's so much traffic and it's, it's an irresistible city. You know this is Jamnagar and this is where everybody comes for daily produce. Everything, the aubergine is so unbelievable, the colors here are so fresh. This is an extraordinary market which everyone comes and they share the experience. All the people gathered around because they're so curious about all of this and everything is so incredibly fresh. The colors are so pure. It's the colors of India. Bam! <laughs> what do you do with this? <laughs> I think it's a squash or is it a cucumber? I have no idea, but I'm sure it's fresh. <laughs> and it's, it's wonderful to eat. And you know, the people here are vegetarians and you know, that keeps the body and the, and the health is so wonderful. And they also don't drink alcohol. So it really just purifies the body. All these fresh vegetables are just absolutely wonderful. I love it. I, I have no idea what this, oh, that's even bigger. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Everywhere you turn, there's something fresh and wonderful. <laughs> You know, as I walk through the streets of this incredible fresh fruit market, I can smell the guava, it's in the air. It's such an incredible smell and I'm just, you know, it's so in season now and the fragrance permeates the air. This is wonderful. I'm going to buy some. Uh, how much can I get for this? Your money goes a long way here in India. Look, this is unbelievable. This is a whole dinner. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. Heaven. It's the fragrance, it's the color, it's the pulp. It's just unbelievable. It's so fresh. This is one of the oldest temples in Jamnagar. I'm with my new friend and I'm going to ask him to tell me the name of this temple. Tell me the name of this temple. This, uh, sir, this temple is a 2000 years old temple and uh, this temple is named Lord Pursotamji's temple. You'll find people chanting 24 hours a day in this temple.
This is my favorite sweet shop, and every family comes here to buy their desserts right after dinner. What do you recommend? Ah, coconut. And what else? Oh, sweet milk. Can I buy one of each? Mmm. Thanks for making my visit to India sweet. Wow. Come to India. <laughs> this is an aerial view of the Hindu college. This is the formal palace of the uh, Maharaja Jam Sahib, which, is, which was the former king of the uh, Jamnagar city. Uh, he, he was the owner of this building. After some time, he gave this building to the government of India to use uh, for some useful purpose and uh, the government made it uh, Ayurvedic University over here. Everyone's gathered for the first international bird conference in Jamnagar. Welcome to this first ever Global Bird Watchers Conference in Jamnagar. On behalf of FIKI, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome all of you at this important Global World Watchers Conference. This is an amazing event. 450 delegates attending the three day conference with as many as 98 foreign delegates. <laughs> India is colorful and gay. Traditional dances are performed at the first International Bird Conference. The Sidi tribe originally came from Africa to India as laborers, and now they've melted into the culture, but they still carry their traditions and dance. Everywhere you look, there's traffic, and these lovely ladies are wearing their saris. The art museum sits in the middle of the lake, and there are birds everywhere. 